Welcome to this new Football Manager 2018 experiment where I've created four brothers on the editor, all born on the same day, so they're quadruplets, that poor mother. Say hello to the Brian brothers, who will be the stars of this experiment series. The other day on the community section of my YouTube channel, I asked the question, what would you like to see from me next in regards to an experiment series, because I haven't done one for a while, and Nick's FM provided me with this fantastic and fascinating suggestion where I create four players on the game. They're all brothers, but they're quadruplets born on the same day and holiday into the future to see what happens in their careers. So thank you to him for that suggestion. It was the most popular suggestion, got the most likes from you guys. Uh, but there's some other ones that I might get around to making as well in the future. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. So we've got Ralph Bryan, Nigel Bryan, Trevor Bryan and Brian Bryan who are the four brothers. We've got a goalkeeper, centre-back, midfielder and striker. And of course, as they're quadruplets, they're all born in the same country. And I decided to select America, USA, because I thought it'd be relatively easy for them to get into the national team from an early age and also stay there for a long time. So they should pick up lots of caps. And this series kind of links with two types of series I've done in the past. We've got the emulating series. Those of you that have watched that will know what that's all about, where I create some of you subscribers on the game, holiday into the future, to see how the players get on. So we are, essentially, that's what we're gonna do here. But at the same time, we're going to see if adding four world, potentially world-class players to USA will enable them to perform much better at major tournaments. Can they win a World Cup, for example, on this experiment? We shall see. This is this is going to be fun, I think. I hope you guys enjoy the series. If you're looking forward to more episodes, please hit the like button to let me know you'd like to see more. That'd be very much appreciated. So I'm going to just show you the players, first of all, and holiday one season in this part one of this experiment to see which clubs they move to. I've loaded quite a few leagues, the major leagues in Europe and also... Uh, USA as well um, as I think th these are the countries that these players will probably play in they might start in USA at a club in USA because they're only 16 and then move to Europe at some point but first of all Ralph Bryan then I've just selected a random photo from Google I just typed in man face and this is what came up and all four of them have the same face because they're they're identical although that you may have noticed they are different heights and weights and that's probably pushed them into those positions. Growing up, Ralph Bryan was the tallest and the heaviest and ended up being a goalkeeper for that reason. Uh, most of the attributes have been randomised, but a few things I did select. So determination I put to 20, natural fitness I put to 20. A lot of the hidden attributes I've changed as well. So injury proneness is set at one. So hopefully we won't have any injury prone Bryans. And there was a few other things like consistency and important games that I selected to the highest as well. Like this guy, Ralph Bryan, he's, mod he's a model citizen. And as you can see from the information, favoured personnel, Trevor Bryan, Nigel Bryan and Brian Bryan. Uh, he's apparently touted as the next Tim Howard. And they've all been born in Seattle, by the way. I, I like Seattle, mainly because I love Frasier. I've never been there, but I, I, lo I love it anyway. Hope hopefully I'll go to Seattle one day. Here's Nigel Bryan, centre back. You know, there he is, looking exactly the same as his three brothers. Once again, determination and natural fitness of 20. He's a promising centre-back and a model citizen as well. And there's his favoured personnel. Brian Brian is our little central midfielder. He's the smallest of the four brothers. Once again, determination 20, natural fitness 20. And those are his three brothers on his favoured personnel list. He's once again described as a model citizen. And lastly, Trevor Bryan, the striker. All of the players are either footed as well, by the way. Uh, Trevor Bryan's, you know, standard 181 centimetres tall, 70 kilograms. And there's his three brothers. He's also described as a model citizen and a promising striker. So those are the four players. Let's holiday one season then and have a look to see where these four players end up at the end of the first year. So it's now June 2018 and as you can see all four brothers are playing in America. So it doesn't quite line up at the moment with the American seasons the way I'm holidaying the seasons. But I'm sure at some point they will move across to Europe because they've all got amazing potential. I think some of them were touted to, to go to PSG and those sorts of teams at the start. But maybe because they were really young they've stayed in the United States of America for the time being. I've just noticed Trevor Bryan's grown by a centimetre and I think Brian Bryan's grown, grown a bit as well because they're still so young that they will grow, of course, and increase in weight. Trevor Bryan has the best current ability at the moment. He's moved up to 127. They've all improved, 
But I think the reason why Trevor Bryan has improved so much is because he's playing for LA Galaxy. Very good team in the States, of course. And Nigel Bryan is the second best player playing for New York City FC. But the other two, Brian Bryan and Ralph Bryan, are actually playing for teams that aren't in the MLS. Uh, New York Cosmos, they're in the other division which there's no promotion and relegation of course so there's the other divisions and Ralph Bryan plays for Phoenix Rising FC so if if a team comes in for Ralph Bryan they're gonna get a bargain he's only eight he's only worth 48,000 pounds only one in earning 190 pound a week uh, but Trevor Bryan as you can see he's picked up two caps for USA already which is amazing so let's have a look at him he's certainly improved as you can see there there's quite a few 13s before but now there's a lot of 14 so he's already improved quite a bit all round. Uh, last season, he managed to get three goals in that first season. Not the best goals to game ratio, but remember he was only 16 years old at this point. This year, much better goals to game ratio, nine goals in 15 games. The season hasn't ended yet though. They are currently top of the Western Conference with 37 points as you can see there. And he does actually have some more favored personnel now. He's got his manager, uh, two managers in fact, are now on his list. He's got five goals in the under 20s in six games and of course he's now been capped by the, the first team as well. Not currently in the squad though. Nigel Bryan is our centre back. He's the second best player worth 3.5 million pounds already. So he signed for New York City FC, played five league games last season. This year so far he's picked up 14 appearances, got a couple assists and a man of the match award as well. New York City, they're currently seventh in the Eastern Conference, as you can see there. Hasn't been capped by the first a team yet, but he's already got one goal in the under 20s in eight caps. And remember, he's a centre-back, so we're not really focusing on goals with him. He hasn't got any more favoured personnel yet. Uh, Brian Bryan, he's the third best player, only worth 750k though, because he's playing in a different division. Um, you can see he managed to play 18 games for Cosmos last season, two goals, Four assists, that's what he's about, creating goals. And this season, four goals, not bad at all. But he is playing at a lower level, isn't he? But he looks decent as a 17-year-old. I don't know if any of the players are going to reach 200 potential. It really will re rely on them moving to Europe, I think, for them to reach their potential. I'm sure that they will move soon. Can't imagine it's going to take too long for them to move. He has played for the under-20s as well. He's got eight caps and two goals, as you can see there. And lastly, Ralph Bryan, our goalkeeper who's got five caps for the under-20s. He has played for Phoenix for the last couple of seasons. He, he conceded 21 goals last year. That's not too bad in 16 games. 7.05 average rated this season. Only eight goals in all competitions conceded in 14 games with a 7.2 average rating. So he's playing well at the moment. Uh, he doesn't have any more favoured personnel either. So that is the Bryan brothers so far after one season and a bit well it's kind of more than one season because they're playing in america at the moment but they're 17 years old now having a lovely time in the states but i'm sure they want to move to europe in part two of this experiment i'm sure they will i'm certain they will trevor Bryan currently is wanted by gladback and atlanta but he should he needs to move to gladback i think to really progress and hopefully the others will follow suit if you want a part two tomorrow let's say 500 likes on today's video before the end of the day and I'll release part two tomorrow. We will speed through a bit more. I'm not just going to do one season per episode. That would drag on a bit too long. So we'll probably holiday about three seasons, three to five seasons per episode. Uh, but thank you for watching this part one. And once again, thank you to NixFM for this suggestion. Something a little bit different. Until next time, enjoy FM18. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you very soon.